side up and let us pray. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. O God, Almighty, behold us, thy loving children, offering thee today our work and studies. Help us, dear Lord, to be obedient to our teachers, kind to our companions, diligent in our studies, so we may merit their blessings for ourselves, our school and our beloved country, the Philippines. Amen. In the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Before you take your seat, can you pick up the pieces of paper under your chair and arrange your chair properly? Okay. Okay, so before we discuss our next lesson, who can recall what we have discussed last meeting? Teacher! 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 Okay. Yes, Joy? Teacher, last meeting, we talked about the living things and non-living things. Okay, very good. Thank you, Joy. So now, we will sing a song entitled, Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes. Are you familiar with that song? May I call Dan to lead our dance for today? This 
of hair and face. The face is the front part of head. It consists one forehead, two eyes, one nose, and one mouth with teeth inside and one chin. The next part is the neck that joins the, the head to the rest of the body. So, children, everybody mm. touch your neck. neck. The neck, it helps us to turn our head from one side to to other. Next is the nose. So, the function of the nose, we breathe in air through the nose. The air goes into the chest. This is the nose. We breathe out the air from the ch chest through our nose. The action of breathing and in breathing out, air takes place continuously. So, the next one is stomach. Children, can you please touch your stomach? Okay, very good. This is a stomach. The stomach is the food which we take and through the mouth enters the stomach. The next body part is the arms. This is the arms. So the arms bend at the elbows and the wrist. Our fingers bend too. So this is the fingers. That is why we are able to work with our hands. We can pick up things. So the next one is our hand. We can write and draw with our hands. We clap our hands too. The legs is used to, to bend at the knees and ankles. So what is the function of tooth? Okay, the tooth of the feet can bend too. That's why we are able to move about freely. We can walk, jump, run, and hope with our legs. Like our legs, our hands also help us in many ways. They help us to ride, eat, hold, and etc. How about this one? Hi, teacher! What is the function of the eyes in our body? Okay, Grace? The function of the eyes is used for seeing. Teacher, I have also an idea. Hi, Krisha. The function of the eyes is to see the beautiful scenery around the world. Very good! Wow, magaling! Palapakan natin si Krisha at si Grace dahil ang kanilang sagot ay tama. Ngayon ay magkakaroon tayo ng bagong gawain. So, I will divide your class into two groups and each group will cut the parts of the body and paste on the circle. Group 1. Ano ang parte ba ito ng katawan? 
katawan. Hands. Hands. Tama ba ang linagay ng unang grupo? Oo! Oh. Okay, very good. Ang ating pinakahuli, ang ating pinakahuli ay Feet. Ano nga to? Feet. Feet. Tama ba? Opo. Okay, very good. Ang unang pangkat ay nakakuha ng siyam na puntos at ang pangalawang pangkat ay nakakuha ng sampung puntos. Pero sabihin natin ang bawat. Ngayon ay magkakaroon ng tayo ng panibagong gawain at ang gagawin ninyo ay papangalanin ninyo ang iba't ibang parte ng katawan. Handa na ba, ka handa na ba kayo? Oo! Okay. Ano ba ang unang nasa larawan? Teacher! Tapos ano ba? Nose po. Okay, very good. Pwede pumunta, pumunta ka dito at tingnan mo kung tama ang iyong sagot. Okay, very good, Roslyn. Ang susunod naman, ano ba yan? Teacher! 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 Mouth teacher! Tingnan natin kung mouth mo talaga. Magaling! Kala ko na natin sa mouth. Ay, ito! Ano kaya ito? Teacher! Ice ko, teacher. Tingnan natin. Ayos ba talaga? Very good. Tama. Balakpokan natin. Ang susunod naman. Sino naman ang pwede? Okay, very good. Magaling. Hands. At ang pinakahuli, ano kaya ito? T-shirt. Okay, boy. Head po. Tingnan natin kung head ba talaga. Okay, magaling. Palakpatan natin ang bawat isa. Ngayon mga bata, ano ba ang inyong natutunan sa ating aralin ngayon? Sige nga, Jason. Ano ba, ano ba ang ating aralin ngayon? Tungkol po sa iba't ibang parte ng katawan. Okay, magaling. Tungkol sa iba't ibang bahagi ng ating katawan. Ano ba ito mga bata? Mata. Mata. mata, mata. mata. Ano ba ang ginagamit ng mata? Upang makatingin po. Very good po. Ang ating mata ay ginagamit upang makakita. Magaling. Lahat naman pala kayo ay may natutunan sa ating aralin ngayon. So ngayon, magkakaroon tayo ng ating evaluation. Handa na ba kayo mga bata? Oo! Oh! Ang gagawin ninyo ay lalagyan ninyo ng check kung ang nasa larawan ba ay parte ng katawan. At X naman kung mali. Handa na ba kayo, mga bata? Oo! Okay. Teacher! Teacher! Okay, floor number one. Teacher! Number two. Trisha. Number three. Rosalyn. Number four. Milky. Number five. Letty. Number six. Joy. Number seven. Jason.
Apple and same. Okay? Not too good. So, ngayon, ating ng... Ano ito? Okay. Ngayon, mga bata, tingnan na natin kung tama ang iyong sagot. Number one, ano ba ang parte ng katawan nito? Ay, size po. Okay, mata. Tama ba? Opo. So, pangalawa, ano ba ang parte ng katawan natin? Mali. 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 Bakit mali? Kasi bed. You're very good. Kasi... Isa siyang bagay. Bagay. Check. Number three. Crocodile. Very good. Crocodile. Bahagi ba ng ating katawan? Hindi. Oh. Ay, hindi. Tama. Sa pang-apat. Bahagi oh. kaya ito ng katawan? Opo. Oh. Very good. Ba anong pangalan siya? Bahagi ng katawan? No. Oh. Check. Number five. Bahagi kaya ba ito ng ating katawan? Hindi. Okay. Very good. Check. Sa ika-anim, anong pangalan kaya nito? Apo! Bahagi kaya ng ating katawan? Hindi po! Very good! Sa ika-pito, ano kaya ang pangalan ng bahagi ng ating katawan? Na ito? Shoulder! Tama ba? Opo! Okay. Sa ika-walo, anong pangalan kaya ng ating katawan nito? Yes! Tama! Very good! Sa pinakahuli, ano kayong pangalan ng parte ng ating katawan nito? Leg! Tama ba? Oo! Check! Magaling ang, at magaling ang mga bata. Kunin na ang iyong mga notebook at isulat ang inyong takdang aral.